Hey guys, Etan Sun here from Sunbros, and today I am really excited to bring you guys the new abilities recently released abilities to Aurora the new mage if you guys haven't seen her yet check her out she is the new mage being released by mobile legends she's got a really cool skin um, her, her original skin is called Queen of the North and her her skin that's gonna be coming out on release is called uh, Nature's Thorn and you can see that they're very different skins but they both look really awesome so I I'm personally really excited about a new mage especially one um, you know frost based mage is gonna be really neat so um, let's go ahead and start diving into our abilities and we'll talk about you know what they do and how I think they fit into our kit and how I think that they're going to make her as far as a, a hero in the game and how strong I think she'll be but let's go ahead and start with her first ability it's called frost shock with it Aurora will fire forward a frost energy missile when it hits the enemy it will detonate and deal radial magic damage and slow enemies down so her first ability sounds like it's going to be a kind of an AOE hit so uh, the way I'm imagining it is by the fact that it says fires forward a frost energy missile I'm assuming it's going to be a skill shot but I imagine it kind of like I don't know, I'm trying to figure out an ability that is similar to that but that's going to hit the enemy that it hits and it's going to cause an AOE damage slash slow kind of like Layla's second ability except for a skill shot um, so I'm really excited about that because what it gives us first is it gives us a AOE damage ability that also causes a slow and that's one of the cool things that's going to be going on about Aurora is that um, because she's a frost mage and you know going with a the frost theme all of her abilities have a slow which is pretty cool and makes her really really useful in game so um, so the first ability is a what it sounds like to me is a skill shot uh, AOE damage and slow second ability is called bitter frost it deals magic damage to the target with additional small scale slow effects. So this, uh, to me, it doesn't sound like this is really a skill shot. It just sounds like it's a a, a small damage dealer slash, um, you know, slow to the enemy. So it's, it kind of sounds like Layla's first ability, but a skill, but but not a skill shot. So it'll just be a single target damage slow, um, and it'll, you know, it, it doesn't sound like it's going to do much. Uh, I wish there was more information about this, but it sounds like it's just kind of be a real small scale ability. That will definitely not be what I level up first on her. So um, that is it's interesting. I mean, it's another slow, it's more damage, but it's nothing special. So then we move on to her ultimate, which is called Coldness Destroy. Summons a giant icy rock to bombard a designated target location. All enemy heroes hit will be slowed down and receive magic damage. Surrounding enemies of the target location where the rock lands also will be slowed down and receive magic damage. So, um, this is another AoE damage ability. It sounds like a pretty large AoE damage ability. And I kind of see it like a large scale of Gord's second ability. So, it'll be a big thing that falls from the sky. It hits the target location. Does an AoE slow and a ton of AOE damage so that's going to be pretty cool she seems to be very AOE oriented and it's you know it's it's great to get another mage that does AOE damage that will mean that she'll be able to kind of uh, penetrate the the new meta that's kind of anti-mage in a lot of ways um, I'm hoping that she has a little range to her too because that will help also depending on how you know how long her range is on these abilities so that'll be really cool um, I do kind of wonder, and this is just a kind of a, a thought, I wonder if the ultimate, when she summons the giant icy rock, will be able to be cast at a distance, like a long distance. Not, not necessarily like global, the entire map distance, but just longer than a normal ability would be. It doesn't really say, but that would be really neat to have that ability to be able to be casted at least like... A quarter of their map away or some some kind of longer distance than normal that'd be really neat um, <clears throat> and then lastly we're gonna get to her passive which is called pride of ice and this is what it does each time the skill is released one unit of frost energy will be added to the hero when four units of frost energy is collected the next skill damage will freeze the target all skills can cause extra magic damage to the frozen target so this is how I'm reading that 
every time you hit somebody with an ability, kind of like with Cyclops, when you hit somebody with an ability, you get cooldown reduction. When you hit somebody with an ability as Aurora, you're going to get one point of frost energy. When you get four units of frost energy, you'll kind of be you'll kind of be ready to do some some mass stuff and so the next ability you cast will freeze the target. I don't know how long the freeze will last. I don't know whether it's a stun or, you know, a full-blown stun where they can't do anything or just a root, you know, or whatever. I'm not sure quite how that's going to work. But what I do what I do envision and what I'm really excited about <clears throat> is essentially using ability 1 frost shock, using ability 2 bitter frost, using ability 1 and then ability 2 and then opening up to use the ultimate when you have four units of frost energy, which means that everyone who gets hit by that ultimate no longer gets slowed, but they all get frozen. So the ability, I think the possibility for freezing an entire enemy team using the ultimate when the passive is ready to go is there, and that is insanely exciting to have a mage who's gonna deal some real nice AoE damage and has the potential to do a huge AoE stun based on how many units of frost energy that passive has gotten up. So, uh, yeah, it's, Aurora sounds really good. I love her skins, I love the way she looks, but I'm really excited to do Every ability that I do is going to cause a slow, and then the the potential to do a huge AOE freeze to a bunch of enemies in a team fight sounds awesome. I love I love mages that do AOE damage, and the ability to do AOE damage plus doing the slow or the the freeze rather is going to be an interesting thing for me. So I'm really excited for the release of Aurora and. You know, I'm really excited to see what she's going to be capable of doing. From what I've gathered, she is going to be released at the price of 24,000 battle points and on sale first week for 349 diamonds. And her skin is supposed to be released at 269 diamonds, which as you guys know is a big surprise to me because I really thought that they would do a little bit more with that skin with the, you know, the earth elements look. I figured that they would change all the abilities to be earthy, but I don't know if she's going to have the earth, you know, the flowers and the leaves dress and then still shoot out ice stuff, which would be kind of disappointing. But yeah, 269 diamonds is what the first skin is supposed to release at. So guys, I'm really excited about Aurora. I hope you guys are too. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and as always, comment below and let us know what you guys think about Aurora's abilities and how you think she's gonna be played and what kind of builds you're considering doing on her. Uh, but thanks for watching guys, and as always, until next time.